Uh, hello, and this is the first part of chapter 1.8. And today we'll talk about linear transformation and we define them. And in the later mini lectures, we explore the uh, linear transformation. Okay, let's start with a uh, matrix equation, which you probably already familiar with. Uh, so we take matrix A, multiplying by vector X and give the uh, and it results in the vector B. So basically we can say that we transform vector X into vector B by multiplying it by, a vac uh, by matrix A. For example, if we have like uh, this, the matrix A here, we can multiply it by the four dimensional vector X and produce the two dimensional vector B. So we basically transform here four-dimensional space into the two-dimensional B by using our matrix. And we can do it for any vector X, and it will give us always different, uh, not always, but different vector B. Uh, we can also try to find all the vectors which give us a desirable right-hand side vector B. For example, we can search for the zero vectors. We'll try to find a vector u, which multiplied by matrix A, will give us a zero. Or we can say we transform four-dimensional vector u into two-dimensional zero vector. And here is exactly the vector which give us a right-hand side two-dimensional vector into zero. And um, we can always solve this matrix equations or we can actually look in, at it as pretty much as a function definition. We can say we are not just solving an equation, but we are trying to find all four-dimensional vectors x that are transformed into the two-dimensional vector b when multiplied by matrix A. And um, usually we refer to a transformation just, you know, basically a rule which transform our vector X, which can be any dimension, let's call it Rn, into the uh, vector, which we denote T of X in different dimension. For example, let's call it R of M. So this is probably remind you a lot, the definition of functions, which you learn in high school. We take one variable, and transform it into another. The difference is now our variable is actually a vector and the space can be multidimensional. But overall, similarity is pretty noticeable. Uh, we just need to have a proper notation. For example, the, when we are transforming vector, we usually use notation, uh, we usually denote them transformation by the letter T, uh, then we, uh, specify the uh, vector space we are transforming from, in this case, Rn. And then after arrow, we put the uh, dimension of the space we're transporting into. And usually uh, the dimension of our original va uh, vector space, like x in our case, is called domain. And the space we transform into or uh, dimension of our vector B, we will call it as Rm. And there's some, I mean, again, some common, common definition which I want to bring in because we will rely on them a lot for the rest of this chapter and actually for the rest of the semester. For example, very often the vector we transform into the vector T of X refer as an image. And you're probably surprised what image, what kind of image. But keep in mind that a lot of this terminology, uh, a lot of this methodology was developed into the computer graphics um, area. So the names are come from basically the graphics application. Um, so also the set of all images, T of X, which formed uh, when we are transforming our X, is refer as a range of the transformation t. And uh, by the way, the range can be um, 
same dimension as our codomain RM, or it can be smaller. And we will look at several examples of the um, range which is less than codomain. And uh, another notation I would like to introduce is uh, this kind of like shortened uh, arrow notation when we say that the vector X is transformed into the matrix A times vector X. Sometimes we will use these notations when we want to stress the importance of changes in vector X. Okay, this is all for basic introduction and transformation. Next time we will talk about a little bit more details of linear transformations.